welcome to our first cooking demo on the Spice It Up group with Char and Jen. I'm the Char part of Char and Jen. So my name is Charlotte Habiger and I'm an independent consultant with Epicure. I've been with Epicure for um, 13 years and I've been a leader for several years and a director since recently. Jennifer and I are on the same team and we're very happy to welcome you to our cooking demos. We want to do at least one a month, so if you have suggestions, ideas, anything you'd like us to share, a theme, a recipe, um, something you'd like us to do, well, please post and comment on the group. If you're watching live, let me know if everything's uh, technically okay, if you can see my workspace and hear me well. If you're watching on a replay, so after the video is posted, please let us know in the comments, let us know what you liked, if you have any questions, any suggestions. We'd love to um, have you, uh, you know, interact with us on the group. So we will be having these um, at least monthly. Today I will be talking about the good, good Greek real fast. So usually we go to uh, someone's home and we're in their kitchen, in their living room, they have four or five friends together, or I might go to an association um, space or an office and people get together with me, with their friends, and we cook a recipe. So we choose a recipe that usually takes about 15 minutes from raw to ready. That's the Epicure concept, and um, we do it together. So that's a cooking class with Epicure. Right now, we've been doing virtual cooking classes, and usually we did post full cooking classes online. This is a new thing for us, so this is one of my first, even though I've been doing this for 13 years. And what we usually do is we start with a drink. So we start with a beverage and something fun, something yummy, something tasty, uh, something seasonal. So what I do at this time of the year is I'd probably be doing cocktails because we're in May, today is our first day of the new catalog and the new season, the May season. So, um, hi, I see someone's online but I can't see who it is. So, um, yeah, we started the May season today, the it's summer season, so I usually do a cocktail at the beginning of my cooking classes. Of course, we can't do it together right now. I'm an expert at virgin cocktails, and then you can add whatever kind of alcohol, whatever you want, if you wish. Though, I can show you awesome things to do, uh, and we can learn together if you have tips as well, to prepare really good cocktails that are good looking, fancy, and fun, but that don't have all the toxic, toxic chemicals that you can find uh, when you go to a store to buy things like the syrup that you can put it in, whatever. So that's what um, we do at the beginning of the cooking class. We start with a beverage, it can be a hot chocolate in the winter, because we have that with Epicure. It can be one of our herbal teas, one of our teas that we can use. You can use them in a cocktail, you can make a soup, but we sometimes just taste them at the beginning of a cooking class. Then we move on to a main recipe. So our main recipe is something we do together, usually, so next time, if you want to, you could prepare the same ingredients at home ahead of time, or you could order the same products. You could also use whatever you have at home. We always, always suggest substitutes for things that you have at home. So we could cook along next time, just like in a regular cooking class. But for today, I'll be doing it with you, by myself, in my home, so welcome to my kitchen. The Good Greek Real Fast collection is what we'll be seeing today. Usually, we always, always use Good Food Real Fast, Real Fast, Good Food Real Fast collections. It's our meal kits. That's what we use for our cookie classes. And we go through them with people. So we choose a recipe. And the way they are is this is how they come. So this is the Good Greek one. Real, Good Food Real Fast. Try to say that fast. And inside you have a couple of products. And what's really fun, you can also buy the items um, separately. They're at the same cost. The difference is that you have these recipe cards inside. You also have a grocery list. And what's really fun is that you can see the cost per serving. So like this one has a recipe called mini spinach pies and it's um, $2.50 per plate per portion if you um, buy all the ingredients at the best price at the grocery store and then you use the products from Epicure, for example. Because the idea is to save, to save on the uh, products, of course. So I'm going to show you this one. We have the dressing mix, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, the Greek dressing mix. Put it right here, and then we have, um, what i show you next, uh, I'll show you souvlaki. That's a cooking class recipe I often do, is we often do souvlaki. Uh, you can do chicken souvlaki, but I always, I always do vegetarian recipes, because we're vegetarian at home, and though um, my cooking classes aren't always vegetarian, but I always show options, because then people can go for a meatless meal, or option, or whatever. So this is the souvlaki, 
you can make so many times the recipe like this could last for years right then there's um, the spinach dip mix this is fun this will also last a long time and there's no fillers there's no gluten so just imagine this is real food it's not full of other stuff so it really lasts a long time and um, you can make a hot dip with sour cream or other ingredients you can make a cold dip and you can also do other recipes on the website of Epicure there's thousands of recipes so I'm going to show you this one and the one we're going to use today is called lemon dilly one of my favorites one of the top sellers of Epicure and it has just lemon and dill tastes quite uh, tastes quite dilly. <laughs> you can make a cold dip like for chips or vegetables. You could also put it on fish or there's so many, so many, so many ways you could use it as a salad dressing in itself. You can marinate vegetables with it, uh, chicken if you eat uh, chicken. And today we're going to use it for our Greek recipe, Greek inspired recipe. So there we go. We're going to do a recipe together. So the website of Epicure I just checked and it's offline because it's the beginning of a season so it's kind of crazy I'm really happy I prepared my stuff ahead of time so I do have the recipe with me and I posted the link though it's not working right now but as soon as the website is up for the new season the web, the link that I put for the recipe today it will work so you can go ahead and check it out this is what we're making is the crustless Greek style quiche it's fun it's different usually I do a recipe that's from raw to ready in 15 minutes all the recipes I do in my cooking classes and that I recommend the team to do is also anything that can be done in 15 minutes. And then that's the cooking class. It's a 15 minute recipe, right? That's really fun. And people usually participate. So next time, like I said, you could also do it at the same time as we do. I chose something a little bit different this time. It's with the Good Greek Real Fast collection. And though the cooking time is more than 15 minutes, unless you do it in the microwave. If you do it in the microwave, it's really quick. And I'd recommend that if that is your alternative to buying something already prepared. This is even, this is better, it's quick, it's fast, it's faster than ordering food, it's faster than going to the grocery store to get something that's a prepared food. Of course, if you make everything from scratch, you can make it in the oven as well for, it cooks for 35 minutes. So I won't make you wait for 35 minutes on this uh, cooking demo, it doesn't last that long, don't worry about it. Um, and though, so this recipe is really quick to prepare, I'll show you in a few minutes. And it is longer to cook than the usual ones that I do for cooking classes. So you need to know that we have hundreds of recipes that actually go from raw to ready in 15 or 20 minutes. So I'm going to follow the recipe. And I, everything you see is, is Epicure. I'll show you what my different um, items one by one. So everything you see is from Epicure, whether it's the utensils, the blends, the mixes. Um, I'll show you a recipe book in a while knives, everything that we have right here is with Epicure. So of course you can use anything you have at home as well if you have something equivalent. And um, I just want to make sure that everything you see you know that you can get if you're interested. So we're going to start with, um, takes four eggs, so I already prepared that. It's in our prep bowl. What I like about the prep bowl, this is a four cup prep bowl. It has a silicone top on it, so it's very practical. It's glass, so you can put it in the, in the refrigerator uh, dishwasher, everything, anywhere that glass will go. And so the recipe says to add milk. I use, I always offer substitutes. So for this recipe, the only thing I don't know how to substitute are eggs. If you're vegan, like we're mostly vegan at home, but we do use eggs and cheese. If um, you don't eat eggs, then I don't know how to substitute in this particular quiche recipe. All the other ingredients you can substitute with what you have at home. They're not necessary for the recipe. They're not obligatory. But if you want a vegan style, style then you know, you might want to follow this recipe. If you want something vegan, I'd say probably you need to look for a whole other recipe to use with these dip mixes because they are all, um, almost all of our blends are, are vegan. So you can always use them to do any other vegan recipe online and on the website too. There's a whole uh, section for vegetarian and, and vegan. So we have four eggs here and the milk that I use, we don't use cow's milk, so I have almond milk and, um, the milk I have here is almond milk. If you use almond milk, then you want to be sure it's unsweetened and not vanilla with it because I don't mind, I'm used to it, but if you're not used to it, then it will really taste weird. So either cow's milk, whatever, whatever milk you use. And honestly, if you're stuck at home right now and you don't have any milk, this recipe will work without it. Maybe just add some water instead. So I need a third of a cup. The recipe says a third of a cup and I use the small prep bowl, the one cup prep bowl, because it has measurements on it, see? 
like that, and milliliters, which may not be used for the States very much, cups. So in Canada, we have milliliters and cups. We have to have both. We have both on our bread bowl. So a third of a cup of the milk. These little bowls are really practical. They go in the microwave, they go in the, and they can even go in the oven to heat up some leftovers, you know. You can also use them instead of Ziploc bags or instead of aluminum foil to put things away in the refrigerator and that they're washable, so that's really good. So I'll put the third of the cup in here. And then we need some feta cheese. That's the next thing we am just gonna check. Feta cheese, I also measured it out. What I use is I use uh, plain feta cheese crumble it. I use plain feta cheese because the spiced ones or whatever in the store full of chemicals. I mean even the plain feta is not incredible so in most regular grocery stores so I use feta like a big cube and I just bake it into pieces or cut it with our awesome ceramic knife. <laughs> That's very sharp and practical. So here I measured out the feta cheese and of course this is not necessary like if you don't have feta cheese you can definitely make the quiche without it. And um, it's just we're trying to make a Greek style uh, quiche, so that's in the recipe and I'm putting it in there. The next ingredient is regular grated cheese. So again, not necessary, it says mozzarella cheese. I just use the regular marbled um, um, cheddar cheese and measured it with my prep bowl. And so, um, of course, you can make quiche without cheese. It's just not obligatory. It, we don't need it for our diet usually in a day. However, if you like cheese, then you can add it, and that's what the recipe calls for. You could add, you know, vegetables you like or something else. And then the next ingredient is um, spinach. So I often use fresh spinach. And, um, and though maybe you don't have any right now at home, or maybe it's not practical for you to keep it, um, perhaps also uh, fresh spinach is more expensive than frozen spinach. So there's, there's um, I learned something from my friend Caprice, and she says there's, uh, I think it's better, best, good, or whatever. There's like different levels. So, you know, fresh spinach is probably the best. I mean, you could even grow it yourself or whatever, wherever you, depending on where you live. And then there's fresh spinach bought from a farm or something local, and then there's fresh spinach bought from the grocery store. And then there's frozen spinach, which is better than buying prepared food, right? It still is better. It's quick. You can always have it in your freezer. Um, you don't need a lot of space for it. And so I did buy some for this recipe to show you. It's okay. You can use frozen or canned food. Better even if it's in a, in a glass jar and um, if you have a choice. And even if fresh is better, it's okay to use frozen. So I did actually buy frozen spinach for this recipe to show you that it's okay. For those who, who think they have to cook everything from about already. Uh, unless you already do, that could be a big challenge. So I use our multi-purpose pot. It also has measurements on it. I don't know if you can see. It has cups. It says how many cups are in it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And so I just warmed up the spinach because it was frozen. And so it says to put a whole package in the recipe. That's what I'm going to do. So of course if you're using frozen, then it tends to be liquid, right? There's a lot of water in there. You want to get that out as much as possible. It's okay though. We tested it, tried it, my kids loved it, so it works. Whatever you like. And you can add other vegetables if you want, you could add other items if you want. The next thing is our secret ingredient, which is the lemon dill. So I just thought, I wish you could smell it. <laughs> There's really just pieces of lemon and dill, that's all there is. There's no sodium. Uh, I mean, you can just put it everywhere. It's actually food, you can put a lot. Like, you don't sprinkle it on, it's not toxic. And we're going to put two tablespoons, and I have these measuring spoons, my favorite, because I only need one. There's four measurements that you can take with this. So you don't need, you don't need a whole bunch of spoons that you lose or that people don't put away in the right place. I don't know about your household, but in mine, not everybody follows my guidelines. So having just one spoon is so easy, and a pretty color too. I like it, my favorite, purple. And it also fits in our jars, which is something special. Just so you know, on our jars, there's always recipes. There's several recipes on our jars. You can see the ingredients, nutrition facts. And on the website, on Epicure's website, there's thousands of recipes. So this calls for two tablespoons and the recipe of the lemon dill mix. And then I'm just going to whisk it together. Oh, I did forget something, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, if you can do without, good for you. <laughs> I like salt and pepper. So when I do use salt, I use um, the, the actual um, 
uh, sea salt from Epicure. If you have other sea salt, that's good too, because there's 82 nutrients in sea salt. Uh, it's actually, there is some nutrition in there. Whereas if you buy commercial salt, then there's nothing. Um, it's just chemicals, right? So I add some salt, some salt to it. And it's a grinder. You can actually choose the size of the pieces that come out of the grinder by turning this. So it's really good. And anything that you have in a jar, in glass, I mean, glass is so much better. If it's in a cardboard container or if it's in anything else, check your salt. If you have it in a cardboard box, check the ingredients. There may be sugar in it. That's a little tip. So, I also use pepper. So, this is the turmeric and black pepper. I can mix between the French and the English. <laughs> in French, it's curcuma, and in English, it's turmeric which is something my, my, my brain is not able to wrap itself around both. So this is uh, pepper and turmeric, so I just put some of that in. I usually like to add it after it's cooked, actually, but it says in the recipe to put it first. And then I need my whisk. I think I might have forgotten my whisk. Let me just check for a second. I guess I forgot something. I forgot my whisk. I have an Epicure whisk. I'll just use a fork. And so I'll mix it up. Just check if it's over here. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> we just renovated our kitchen. It's so exciting. All my Epicure stuff is here. Right where I do my virtual cooking classes. It's so exciting. I am really excited about that. So I did find my whisk. It's an Epicure whisk. And see, do you see that if I hadn't been explaining the whole thing to you, this would have taken a couple minutes. Like it's, it's not long to prepare. There's nothing complicated. And though it's very yummy, very tasty, very nutritious. Uh, you can see the nutrition facts on the recipe on the website. So I'm just going to mix it up here. And um, so this would just take a few minutes to prepare. That's the whole idea. If you want to cook it in the microwave, it would take a number of minutes. If you want to cook it in the oven, regular oven, then it will take about 30 to 35 minutes. We made a double recipe yesterday and it took about 40, 40 to 45 minutes. So see what's fun is like when I do a cooking class, we get to eat it afterwards. We never got to do that before. I usually was the host, which was kind of fun. Usually the hostess at my cooking classes would tell me that her and her, uh, you know, her, her spouse or, or whoever in her, in her household, they would, they would be eating the rest of our food from the tasting um, as their midnight snack in front of the TV or whatever. So right now we'll be us, we'll be having it for lunch in a little bit. So there we go, because it's, it's lunchtime right now for us. <clears throat> so the, it's ready. And honestly, if I hadn't been explaining the whole thing, it would have taken like five minutes. So. The next step is what are we going to cook it in, right? So there's a couple choices I wanted to share. You could do it in a ceramic dish, like this, in the oven. Uh, yes, in the oven, probably the, the cover would not be necessary, to, so you can let the humidity out, if it's, especially if it's from frozen spinach. And then we have this option, very special option, fun, 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 for some people. Some people don't get it, but some people are crazy about this. It's our perfect portion perfect portion mold so you can make anything with it you can make um you can make yes, anything that you want to have frozen because you can put it in the freezer like portion stuff because you just push it out see like that um you can make mini mini i don't know apple pies banana bread anything you feel like eating a lot of you know but it's not really also always good for you even when it's healthy desserts but you can eat like six of it and it won't be that much, right? That's what's so fun about it. You can freeze food to puree food, for example, for baby food that you make at home. Um, you could freeze a portion of spaghetti sauce that you've made or something that you want to keep a big batch of, but you want to have them, you know how you, you always have this big block of stuff frozen in the freezer? Well, then you have all these little pieces. It's easy. Smoothie, you could prepare smoothies in this. Um, so we could also make our quiche in this. Cook it in that. It would be quicker probably too. And you'd have a whole bunch of mini quiche. So that's an example of something you can do. Still my favorite color, so that's awesome. And today we're going to do it with the steamer. We're going to make ours with the steamer. So the steamer um, is really, uh, really, really, really practical. You can use it in the microwave. It takes a couple minutes to cook um, chicken, beef, make popcorn, soup. Uh, rice, 
anything in a couple minutes in the microwave or you can use it in the regular oven. So I'm going to cook it in the regular oven on 350 for about 35 minutes. I'm just going to put everything in here and then put it in the oven. So these are really f easy, simple. I really like this because it's so much easier to put away than a big cumbersome dish or something that can break. Easy to wash too, like easy to, to wash in the dishwasher or by hand. So I'm just going to add the mix, the blend, the mix that we did together. The quiche, um, the quiche recipe, just put it in there. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. <clears throat> Raw eggs, that's so why I just want to be careful that I'm not touching everything. And I my fire detector to go off because the oven's actually on because we're actually going to eat this after the cooking show. So I'm sorry, I'm going to put on my um, the ventilation from my oven. So I had a few, uh, just a couple things I wanted to add to that. And I hope you can hear me well. I don't want my smoke detector to go off. Sometimes that happens when I open my oven. So um, a few things I wanted to share is I wanted to talk about something else that would be really fun in a Greek themed recipe. So usually during the time that the meal is cooking, which is only supposed to be a couple minutes in most of my cooking classes, like I said today is special, um, I usually do a dessert. So for example, we do a two minute chocolate pudding that's vegan that you can do um, really quickly. We do a, a fruit dip mix with yogurt and um, or one of our dip mixes. We would do perhaps we have a couple other desserts. We have lots of these desserts that you can make in a couple minutes. So often we would make that while the meal is cooking. And in the end, we'd eat a portion to taste of our meal and dessert. And then we had our beverage from the start. So the whole thing um, is what we call cooking class. Something I wanted to show you with the Greek theme is with my cucumber, I can make spirals, uh, ribbons, kind of like spaghetti, with my cucumber. So you could do it with zucchini, carrots, you could use it for salad, to decorate a salad. You could use it to make zucchini spaghetti. And so I'm going to show you. It's kind of like a pencil sharpener or a vegetable sharpener, kind of. So I want to show you what it looks like. This is if you make the ribbon kind. So, yeah. There you go. And it looks like I'm good at this, but it's actually just so very simple. These are the ribbon kinds of pieces that you can make with this. It's so much easier than a big slicer, right? And then the other side, you can make the spaghetti type pieces. So I won't make a lot because I have a small piece here left. I'm not sure I'm going to make it very long. I'll show you an example, but actually if you have a bigger piece of cucumber, you can make it um, longer. Um, it just it makes about four like this, and it makes them longer. So this is just an example of what you can make. And you can put it on a salad, or you could put it in a recipe, or you could put it also, um, yeah, salad, recipe, uh, make spaghetti with it, mix it in with spaghetti. I mean, there's all these different things that you can do with that. Kids love it. Everybody likes it. Let me see. What else I wanted to share was our dressing. Our dressing mixes, you can add vinegar and oil. There's other recipes too on there. You can use it to marinate vegetables. You can make, um, you can make a, a Greek salad just by adding this to the mix. We could have put it in our um, recipe. And then, uh, so for example, dressing mix, you can make it creamy. You know, you can make like a Caesar salad mix too. Um, you can put it like on the barbecue before you use the barbecue. It's it's really practical. You could marinate something with oil and the mix. And there's so much in it though. You kind of want to use it for more than just dressing. We have this to make our salad dressing, and we just add oil and vinegar in here, and then we put um, the dip mix, two cups of it, two uh, tablespoons of it. So there you go. Next, I wanted to show you the finished result because of course I'm not going to make you wait for 35 minutes and we did test this recipe yesterday so this is what it looks like it's family approved everybody enjoyed it so I'm going to invite you to come to the group share your comments share your suggestions things you'd like you you'd do with the products or other ideas you have recipes you like and you enjoy 
and also what you'd like for next time. What kind of recipe would you like to do? And would you like to cook along together? Like we could prepare ahead of time, choose the ingredients, choose the recipe, and we could all cook along wherever we are at the moment, and I would love that. So do come to the group because I will be posting a little bit later on how you can order if you're interested in the products. Uh, we'll be posting a little bit more information and also we have a draw for everyone who will have participated and I will leave it open for a couple hours. Anybody who will participate by commenting, liking, asking questions, posting is also a, a game where you post um, any kind of spice blend you have at home. We'd love to see that. Do take part in this. We might keep leave it open for a couple days because we know you haven't necessarily seen this video yet. And um, we'd love to have your thoughts. We're very happy to be on this group with you and we'll see you soon. So take care everyone. Take care and stay home.